had to take a quick break in the videos and stuff. Oh, shit, that's a long ass version. Introduce a girl got a chopping screw shit too. She's like, what is this? <laughs> says that if 
if you could ask a woman about the first three men she had sex with, they'll tell you a lot about her, uh, which is very true. Because women, when women have a gateway to sex, and she will only allow in certain people through the gate, especially the first three, especially when she's young, because after that first alpha, she's trying to replace him, so she's going to replace him with a similar type, and that type over time will make will uh, become apparent. So that's why her sexual history matters. So if you're a guy that doesn't match her idealized man, her idealized alpha, you're going to have problems in your relationship. And some women are crafty enough to hide their sexual past because they know what it will reveal. And most guys that are savvy enough will figure out that they don't match that kind of type and they will shy away. So that's how come women are very crafty about keeping their sexual history quiet. But if you're perceptive enough and if you if you give room to it, non judgmental room to it, a woman will tell you about her sexual history. She'll open right up because women all want all want to talk. They all want to be accepted. So if you allow that sexual history to come in, unjudgmental, you can actually make an evaluation, which is something men don't do because most men don't want to hear about it. Most women men don't want to be compared. So now most women, most men don't want to hear about it because they don't want to try to live up to it. But the thing is, if you're very crafty about it and you don't judge her sexual history, she will tell you about it. Even though you're judging it, <laughs> even mm-hmm. though it's in, in your head you're judging it, you, you, you're weighing up, you're weighing your options. But the thing is, outwardly, you can't be judgmental. You have to be accepting of her sexual history. And she will tell you about it. And that will tell you what kind of guy she has to go for. And if you're not that kind of guy... Well, nine times out of ten, you're not going to make her have tingles down there. You know, there's always that one exception where you you, you don't fit the pattern, which is another struggle altogether. But we're, this this kind of far afield of where we're going. And you know, we're at 15 minutes. We're good. Um, that's why the mental part of the the the, uh, the alpha male, I call the alpha male imprinting, is so important because it's like I said, it's the the two different uh, things. It's the mental, which is unlocks the key, and then it's the, the, the sexual or the physical that actually put in the code. And the sexual is actually extremely important for for, for females because if um, she gets her idealized man and he can't make her orgasm or he doesn't make her orgasm, he makes her wet, but he doesn't make her orgasm, that's going to cause a split. It's going to cause a further split because he can't complete complete the sequence. And the guy that can complete the sequence is the guy that's actually going to get her get her her sexual attention. You ever see that? That especially you know what? Especially those those women, those bougie women, those women that uh, have the uh, high class jobs and uh, high class positions, and they're really bougie, and they like mm. the guys with the with the suits and the ties and <laughs> and the briefcases and stuff like that. They're really, they're really uh, high status men because those are the idealized men that they have in their heads. But they've been tra- penetrated by that bad boy that gave them orgasms. So they'll, they'll date uh, <laughs> the idealized men, the... Uh, upscale guy and they'll cheat with Pookie and Ray Ray. Shout. That's that skip. Shout. Shout.